Hey, it's uh, Ben Kuzma from Province Sports reporting from Washington, D.C. on Thursday night where the Canucks fell 4-1 to to the league's top team. The Washington Capitals came as advertised. They are extremely deep. They're extremely fast. They do so much off the rush. They don't give you much. And if you make any mistakes, like the Canucks did tonight on the first couple of goals, uh, you're simply not going to win. Uh, unfortunate uh, game for Ryan Miller, who was pretty good through the first 25 minutes after missing eight games with a groin injury. Uh, he made several sensational saves, many of them off the rush. They were trying to pick the short side on him. They are trying to go glove, and he stood up to him. Unfortunately, um, a little bit of the theater of the bazaar tonight. Uh, Alex Edler coming out of the penalty box after taking a bad penalty. Looked like he was going to have a shorthanded break. Um, stumbles, falls, loses the puck. Uh, the Capitals score in a 2 and one to open scoring. Of course, that came after Bo Horvat had a great shorthanded chance. So had the Canucks got the lead tonight, maybe uh, they could have pushed the issue a little bit more. But everybody knows what happened on the second goal. A weird, really weird play in the sideboards. Fen Berchi gets knocked down by Matt Niskanen. Everybody kind of stands and looks around. Everybody's flat-footed. The puck goes back to the point. Carl Asner lets a shot go that deflects off. Redeem for stick and beats uh, Ryan Miller. He thought it was going glove, and it ends up going blocker. So, you know, that's kind of it in a nutshell. They get an empty netter. The Canucks get one goal, five on three, Verbata tap in. Um, we shouldn't be surprised what occurred tonight. The Canucks uh, are hurting. Uh, they're not deep as some of these other teams. They had to play Derek Dorsett on the first line tonight and read whatever you want into that. Maybe it's a little bit of a reward for what he did Monday night against Florida, standing up for the Sedins physically and vocally, but... You know, he's not a first-line player, let's be honest. He could use hard press to remember when he played on the first line anywhere in the NHL, maybe for a game here or there uh, when somebody was hurt. And, and that's a dilemma for uh, Willie Desjardins going into Carolina on Friday night. Uh, will he put Alex Burroughs back uh, with the Twins? I mean, Burroughs hasn't scored in 22 go- games. That's not exactly a quick fix. But he doesn't want to break up the Berchi, uh line with Horvat and Verbata, but they're all a minus two tonight. So just not a great night all around, even though Horvat had four shots at the end of it all. They're on uh, for some pretty uh, big goals against. Uh, it, it, it's one of those things right now. The Canucks are hurting. They don't have a lot of options. Willie Desjardins doesn't want to lose the symmetry he has in some of his lines, uh, but he's got to get a better push uh, from up top. And the one solution would be to put Redeem Verbata back with the Twins. But, you know, that's never going to happen. Anyway, Ben Kuzma reporting from Washington, D.C.